If you would like to become a mammographer, RADCOM's Learning Center can provide you with the courses you need to achieve that goal. Let me explain the steps. Participants need a facility to perform their clinical experience requirements. Let's review the FDA, MQSA, and the ARRT requirements for mammography. I will begin with the FDA, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. The FDA is responsible for enforcing the Mammography Quality Standards Act, known as the MQSA. The MQSA regulates mammography equipment and personnel. It defines what is required of the technologists for initial training and continuing education and practice in mammography. In order to legally perform mammograms, you must fulfill these requirements. First, you must be an ARRT registered radiologic technologist. Second, you are required to complete at least 40 hours of documented training specific to mammography. The coursework must include instruction in breast anatomy and physiology, positioning and breast compression, quality assurance and quality control techniques, QA and QC, imaging patients with breast implants, eight hours of training in digital mammography, and eight hours of training in 3D mammography, if you will be using that modality. Third, you must perform and document 25 mammograms under the direct supervision of a qualified mammographer. RADCOM's initial training in mammography program complies with the 40 hours of training for FDA and QSA and includes the digital and 3D mammography requirements. Following completion of the required courses, you are issued a certificate. Upon completion of these requirements, you may then start the application process for the ARRT certification exam in mammography. Please download the ARRT post-primary discipline handbook to guide you through this process. Now, let's cover the ARRT mammography requirements for technologists. In order to be eligible for the ARRT Mammography Certification Exam, first, you must be in compliance with MQSA requirements I just discussed. Second, complete 16 hours of structured education as required by the ARRT. RADCOM's courses meet this requirement. Third, you must complete the clinical experience requirements listed in Post-Primary Discipline Handbook. These training requirements must be completed during the 24 months immediately preceding the application date for the ARRT Mammography Certification Exam. RADCOM offers an initial training program that fulfills the MQSA requirements and prepares you for the ARRT Mammography Exam. We include 40 hours of coursework. There are 11 course modules and each module contains a test an ARRT mammography mock exam, and an ARRT mammography exam review. Visit our website or RADCOM's Learning Center store to get started. So there are two steps to becoming a mammographer, MQSA compliance and ARRT certification. Entering the field of mammography may seem complicated and overwhelming at first, but as you progress through the requirements, you will realize that it is attainable and definitely worth your efforts. I hope you will find the field of mammography as rewarding as I have found it to be, working exclusively with women and saving lives one mammogram at a time. If you need additional information about our program, please email us at admin at radcom.net. If you have questions regarding the FDA's MQSA regulations, you may contact them at 1-800-838-7715. For information regarding ARRT certification requirements, contact them at 651-687-0048, extension 8540. I wish you the very best and thank you again for turning to RADCOM for all your mammography education needs.